Uh, the private sector is doing fine. One of the worst economic records in the country. So there's, there's nothing subtle about this jobs debate, right? I mean, it's kind of all out there. They're not pretending that they kind of have similar policies. And I think that came through this week in, in the ads. And there are two of them we have teed up. We should just watch them, I think. When Mitt Romney was governor, Massachusetts was number one, number one in state debt, $18 billion in debt, more debt per person than any other state in the country. At the same time, Massachusetts fell to 47th in job creation, one of the worst economic records in the country. First in debt, 47th in job creation. That's Romney economics. It didn't work then. It won't work now. The private sector is doing fine. Uh, the private sector is doing fine. So out of touch, is, that's clearly <laughs> yeah. something you don't want to be this year is out yeah, of touch. It's the battle of the untouchables. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and you know, already just soon after that, Obama and his team came out with all this other stuff that Romney has said that made him look out of touch. Oh, he likes to fire people and all this kind of stuff. So it's, it's, it's the jobs numbers and that sort of stat stuff. And then there's the meta argument about who's the most out of touch with yeah. the, you know, the plight of the real people. The one interesting thing about the Obama ad is that when he is talking about Mitt Romney running the state of Massachusetts years and years ago, it almost brings to mind the fact that he's running an economy now and right. underscores yeah. the problems that people are, are right. feeling and having. And, and, it, and you wonder if at a certain point, if he keeps talking about that, it draws more attention to what people are feeling about yeah. him. I think that's exactly right. I, I think these ads that sort of focus on people's governor's records when they were governor, especially when they're some time ago, as you say, are often very, very ineffective. There's a lot of data for people to to, to, to absorb. I can remember in you know, 1992, Bill Clinton running governor of Arkansas. I remember Bush running ads saying that Arkansas was the 50th in the nation yeah. in terms of education yeah. and income per head. I just don't think it really you charms know, people. And I think exactly as you say, when the economy, the national economy, which really Obama is rightly or responsible, right, rightly or wrongly right held now. responsible for, right. is not doing very well, it looks just looks, it looks kind of desperate. But to you know, so harking the, back to five, six, seven years ago. Right. The only number, though, the only number the Obama people want remembered out of that ad is 47. 47 out of 50 states. Every Everything else will wash well, out. But you know, I think you're right. Though. I yeah, do exactly. remember going to the Republican convention in 1992, and on every chair in the convention hall on the opening night was a little sign that's, that read, failed governor of a small state. Mm -hmm. That's what they wanted people to remember mm -hmm. about Bill Clinton. Mm -hmm. And that didn't, as you say, that didn't really work. And I, don't, you know, I think it's also got to fit into some extent. The key, key with political messaging is it's got to fit in with what people already, their sort of prior yeah assumptions or prejudices are about that person and I or, or that but and I don't think people when people think of Massachusetts yeah. in this country they don't necessarily think of it as being a heavily indebted state that's really not creating yeah. any jobs they might have views about its politics and that's probably what most yeah. people especially in the south think about Massachusetts yeah. but they don't think of Massachusetts as a disaster yeah. they think of it as just you yeah. know they don't really think of it very much at all and I, I, I very much at all as having any kind of political significance so I think running that trying to com campaign on on Romney's record in Massachusetts is, is going to be tough. I mean, I know Romney's going to try and do it partly himself. Mm -hmm. It's going to be selective, but it's going to be really hard to convince people that Romney was a disaster as governor of Massachusetts. Well, they started out at the very beginning of the beginning of this, you know, head-to-head, uh, -head, beating on the whole Bain thing and saying, this is a right. private equity right. guy. Yeah, and right. then that didn't really work too well, so they toggled over to basically telling people, oh, he wasn't just this, you know, supposedly evil private equity guy. But he also ran a state, right. and even right. if the numbers might not be that good the way they've portrayed right. them, it still uh, it, you know, tells people that he was the governor of Massachusetts, which right. undercuts the, the Bain argument. It just yeah. shows that they're kind of floundering around on how yeah. to portray the guy. Well, and this, if you talk to them, they'll tell you that this is the resume portion of the program, that they're going to talk about his resume and get all that out there so that they can then hopefully move on to a debate about ideas, which is the debate they really want to have. I don't, you know, whether or not that's going to be effective sort of remains to yeah. be seen. But, yeah. but I, you know, the, if you look in our poll, the, the, 
the Bain numbers are not so great. I, there may be more mileage to get out of Bain mm. than Massachusetts mm. here. I mean, There's, particularly if you, could, if you can somehow combine right. Bain and J.P. Morgan. <laughs> Look, if you you're think going why, why there. Romney has these very, very high negatives, these big problems, yeah. he has these very high negatives in polls. Why is that? Is that because people re think about him as governor of Massachusetts? Or because they remember what they've heard about him as head of Bain. Capitalist. And I think yeah. the answer is pretty clear. Yeah. It's the Bain yeah. stuff that's stuck, not anything he did when he was governor of Massachusetts. That's probably right. Yeah. You, I would guess they, that's how they're going to view it in the long run, too, right? For sure. And the, the private sector line that Obama made last week is obviously going to stick. Yeah. I mean, they're using it now and yeah. we'll use it That again. was quite an effective ad, I mm -hmm. think. I mean, that just because it, you know, well, you know, juxtaposing those new stories yeah. with how bad the economy is with the president, who, again, however you take these things out of yeah. context, and of course it was taken out of context, right. but every politician, every time they speak, yeah. are having things taken out of context. Yeah. E that, 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 was, that was quite but effective. The reason that was a good ad, I think, is that it uses uh, commentators, various people outside of the process, right. and Obama himself talking right. about right. something and making his own kind of right. screw up versus the other one, which is just uh, the typical kind of narrator yeah. Yeah. saying a few things about a couple of statistics, yeah. which doesn't resonate you, with You much. know, I, I would take the whole thing back to where we started, though, which is I kind of think that the, the key here, maybe the only thing that really matters is whether people get a sense that the real economy is, is doing a little better by, say, September. And I think the rest of this stuff may just all be background noise because, you know, I think people are tuned into the real economy and they're making real judgments on whether it feels like their job's out there and whether it feels like the guy next door is doing better and whether my 401k is doing a little better. And it, it may be that, you know, the, 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 the sort of the periphery stuff just doesn't matter that much. Yeah, I looked at the tracking numbers of the last five elections. You look at where various races were in June. Three of the times they were dramatically off. Two of the times they were. We mean dramatically different. Different June from what actually turned out in, in November. Yeah. Or two were, um, you know, actually reflected what happened to that November. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, this exactly. isn't the right moment. That said, economies move very slowly. You, you know, they're like they're like great big ships at sea. They don't really turn around quickly. And, you know, I'm not saying the economy is headed into you know very very rough waters, but it's clearly not headed in a good direction right now. And it would take something pretty remarkable, right. given the global environment, yeah. given how tough things are in Europe and Asia is slowing down, given the real worries there are about the fiscal position yeah. here, the fiscal cliff we're facing at the end of the year. It'd be pretty remarkable if the economy took a different course yeah. Yeah. over the next four months. I yeah. think we'll leave it there. Long road. We're at the beginning, not the end. Thanks to you all. Thanks Thank for you. watching.